All right guys, so getting started, my hair is already braided down. I have a few braids going back and they are connected and then I have two little pigtails back here. Um, I usually keep this down in the back just because I don't want to um, put too much tension on it. And to go ahead and get started, I'm going to go ahead and clean my hairline. So I'm just going to take um, the 91% or the 90% alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol and just some um, face brown little sponges and just clean my hairline um don't mind the white lines right here this is from um the got to be glued hair gel kind of just leave it there um because it kind of acts as a protectant we're just going to keep that there you won't be able to see it or anything like that so you want to just get it as clean as possible so i usually go over it maybe uh two or three times just to make sure um i have started breaking out like right here and then like right here um just mainly and then like right here from wherever like the makeup build up because you'll see why but you want to just be very cognizant of that part when you're doing this okay so I have my stocking caps this is just um, a plain um, stocking wig cap I got this from my local beauty supply store um, it comes with two this is the very light one um, so I use this one and then I just use my foundation to kind of make it the color that I needed to and I have a big head so this usually doesn't fit as well so we're gonna pull it down we're gonna take our got to be glue styling gel um this is the white one um you could use you use either the white or the black i don't know what i do with my black one so and you want to just kind of follow your hairline so my wig usually comes a little bit more forward on my forehead um just because my hairline is kind of weird so i usually just go ahead and go like just straight line across And so I noticed that people have been using this to kind of like as a natural, like a fake hairline. Um, I haven't noticed where it makes a change in the front of my hairline, but whenever I part my wig, my frontal, you can definitely, it makes it look like, you know, natural. Um, now that I got that on there, I don't really have it on my sides too much just because this pulls up. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this area. Make sure you have a towel because it can get really sticky. Alright, so the got to be glued part is pretty much dry for the most part. There's like a couple of like still like little wet areas. Um, now I'm going to take the got to be glued. Uh, this is the spiking free, free spray, blasting free spray. spray. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over that same area um, just to kind of like solidify the area. Alright, so it's not completely dry, but I am going to do what you're not supposed to do in rush. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this, that way I can start working on the ear flat part. So um, this part right here is dry, so it should stick pretty well. It's just this part up here that I pretty much put a lot of product on. Alright, so now that that is pretty much dry for the most part it's just that these like the areas right here seem to take the longest i'm going to go ahead and start working on putting my glue down the glue that i'm going to be using is the bold hold um extreme cream this is their um new hair glue by the hair diagram um you can find it on their website i think it's like 30 dollars or something like that um so far i've used this maybe four times and i am still it's still pretty full like it's like right here the lines right here so it lasts pretty long um i usually do about four coats so um just to give you a little estimate on how long this will last you um, so let's go ahead and get started. So before I go ahead and put the glue down, I always take my wig, even though I have applied this wig so many times, um, I always put it on just to make sure that it is going to look right. The hair is from, um, HairEverywhereSales.com. Um, they have an Instagram. I'll put the information somewhere on the, in the, um, 
window um so this is the way that i made these are let me see i have four bundles um and then a frontal i think i have a 16 inch frontal it's either 16 or 12 something like that um and then bundles i have 20 22 24 and 26 inches so this is my frontal right here i made it using the stocking cap method i have two combs that i put right here to kind of keep it from sliding back and then i have two combs on the bottom that kind of help me secure it down in the back so whenever i put it in a ponytail like for whenever i'm going to work so I'm going to go ahead and just put this on just to get the placement. I'm not putting it down just yet. And then I also have um, the elastic band right here that I've kind of sewn down. So as you can see, you can see the cap right there. Like you can see the line of demarcation right there. And then if I part it, you can kind of see it. You can see it on the other areas as well. So if you can see, we got the cap right here. It stops right there. And then this is my actual frontal. My frontal is not going to be this pulled forward, so I need to get it in a good location of where I'm actually going to have it set, which is usually this area right here. So I have a little bit before the socking cap where my frontal lays. I have some on the side, um, some space on the side where my frontal lays before the stocking cap. So I have the stocking cap right here. My frontal stops right here. And then also on this side. I got the stocking cap like back here and then the frontal will lay right here. I pull it forward a little bit more so that I can have the actual glue on my skin and then I'll kind of overlap it onto the actual stocking cap which will kind of give my scalp, I mean not my scalp, some protection between the glue and my actual hair. So I don't want to leave the stocking cap this color so I'm going to go ahead and take that off now that I know how I'm going to place my wig. I have here some foundation that's matched to my skin color and then I got a foundation brush. Just a little bit. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to I'm going to take another um, little face round um, sponge with my rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to clean up around that area. Okay, so pretty much everywhere is dry now, so I'm going to go ahead and take my glue and I'm just going to follow basically the hairline that I made. And I do get it on my actual hair, like on this side, just because I need a little bit more security on that side. And literally, whenever, I say literally a lot, um, this hair glue is probably the best hair glue that I have tried. I've only, I haven't tried too many, but it, it works really good as far as like coming off. It does not pull my edges. Um, I have used, um, what was it, Bold Hold? No, um, this is by Bold Hold. Um, I've used the um, I use the hair glue by Hair Imports, and so I've used it and I love it. I do love it. It lasts um, pretty much about the same time frame, but what I did notice was that it was a lot harder to take off of your actual hair, um, and even the lace it was kind of hard to get off of. Um, I used the um, with that hair glue. I did use the. Um, the glue remover, the adhesive remover that came with it, um, you had to purchase it separately. But I did use that, but I just found out it was really hard to get the glue out of your hair. Versus with this one, it comes with a bold hole lace remover, and like this stuff turns it literally into like kind of like lotion, like not even lotion, like you know how like when you put glue on your hand and you can peel it off, that kind of what it, this does for the glue, like even on the lace and on my hair, it's easy to just pull out, um, and my hair doesn't come off like. And it makes it kind of like a little a softer texture so it's easier to pull out without actually pulling out your edges. Um, I haven't lost edges with either product so I'm not going to say one is better than the other. But I will say that this, um, the bow hold um, lace glue does, in my opinion, is a little bit more easier to come to take out. Now with that being said, compared to the, both of them, I have noticed that whenever I'm working out and I'm sweating, neither glue like hold pretty well. So that's my only problem with when wearing these glues because I pretty much sweat like this, my scalp sweats a lot so they don't necessarily hold up very well to glue and even if like I put say I put my hair on today and then I go somewhere where I have to put my hair in a ponytail um the tension kind of pulls it from the glue a little bit as well so I have to be very cognizant of that whenever I am wearing my wigs um, because they don't necessarily hold as well. Maybe like day two or three, it'll hold a lot better. So as you can see, that first layer has um, kind of pretty much gone clear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a second layer on top of that, and then we're gonna wait for that one to go clear as well. All 
All right, y'all, so I have done three layers. I'm gonna go ahead and put my wig on now because I don't think I'm gonna just do another layer. Um, I don't think it really makes much of a difference. All right, so as you can see, it is nice and clear. There are a couple of white spots, which are from basically how much I put on at one time, which was pretty much a lot. So it's a little harder to dry. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide my wig on. The way I put my wig on is a little backwards whenever I have this on because I shouldn't be getting letting my lace touch it but I mean I don't know how else to put it on where it'll fit perfectly so I gotta do it this way. 